Hi, my name is Steve Houston, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, we discuss all things financial services. We talk about the products. We do the compensation plans. We talk about the IMOs. We compare the different IMOs. We break down their compensation plans. We talk about network marketing type IMOs. We talk about all things related to financial services. On Wednesdays is our agent training series, and on Sundays is just a random topic or we focus really on the mindset of what it takes to succeed in mortgage detection and final expense sales. This week for our agent training series, I'm talking about final expense and how final expense is sold. First of all, it's important to understand that final expense life insurance is nothing more than a marketing term that describes really small whole life policies, usually between $5,000 and $25,000 in face amount, sold for the purpose of covering one's final expenses after death, right? These expenses can include like barrel expenses, uh, such as the casket, the opening and closing, the actual funeral services, etc. It, it can also include debts, taxes, and loss of income. So that's really what final expense is as a product. As agents, we service the senior market, usually working with folks in, let's say, the 50 to 85-year-old range. There are two types of agents, however, that sell final expense products. Okay, so many life insurance agents may sell final expense products to the senior market, and many of those agents really are mortgage protection agents possibly working with an IMO that specializes in mortgage protection and final expense, but due to the age, if they're working the lead program, they may have, they may have inquired about mortgage protection, but because of their age and health conditions, they really only qualify for a final expense type policy, which again is a small policy, typically whole life, right? But they're not final expense agents in terms of being exclusively working for a final expense only type IMO, all right, which only sells final expense policies, right? The final expense market is unlike any other market really in our country, right? Final expense agents serve mainly folks that have very low income, uh, may be disabled and or have a myriad of health conditions. They need our help and not many agents are willing to do what it takes to get in front of this category of people. So it's something you need to consider if you're going to consider going with a final expense only company because that's the only segment of the market that you're going to serve and it tends to be the low income type of market versus an IMO that sells a myriad of products and you sell final expense policies so final expense policies really are designed with our clients in mind. They're again, whole life policies. So we know that they're not going to expire before the client does. Whole life means it'll be there for your whole life. The product is defined as a simplified issue whole life policy and there's no medical exam required. There are no blood tests or doctor records needed. Very important distinction there. No nurse will have to go to the client's home, right? In most cases, our clients will know that they are approved before we leave the home, right? As long as you're dealing with a carrier that does an in-home interview, right? And that's going to be varied depending on the carrier and the insurance company, which is the carrier, and the product. So listen, since many of our clients have health issues, final expense products are designed to accommodate that clientele, right? Where many life insurance products would severely rate up or decline our prospects are those final expense uh, prospects that are inquiring, right? Our products will offer 100% first day coverage, right? So the moment you leave the home for a majority of our prospects with an affordable monthly payment, our clients can get the peace of mind that they're looking for and help the families, their families provide for their final expenses when the time comes, right? So, okay, so let's talk about number two, which is how is final expense sold? Most successful final expense agents get in front of their prospects using direct mail leads, like I said before, right? Some may also use telemarketing leads or internet leads to start off and or supplement their direct mail leads. And if you've been in this channel long enough, you know I'm a big proponent of a direct mail leads-based system as long as 
you with an IMO that has an integrity-based system and is not selling you redated, repurposed, or very, very old leads, selling them to you as brand new. You understand what I'm talking about, the ones where you call the lead and they say, I sold the home six years ago. That's what I'm talking about, right? So look, this way we're spending our time. If you're working a lead program, we are, you and I are spending our time face-to-face, kneecap to kneecap in that living room, right? helping seniors and making money rather than spending countless hours working our friends, family, and neighbors uh, in those type of referral-based systems which provide us an inconsistent income, whereas the lead program allows us to make sure we're in front of clients that are asking for our product every single week, right? So working mainly with seniors, we usually work daytime hours, which is great, so you can, if you're a mortgage detection uh, agent, you can work more section at night because typically you're dealing with people that are working during the day that will only set appointments for you at the night or weekends. But final expense now, you can fill in the gaps by working that market during the day, right? Agents will typically set appointments uh, and door knock their leads and give a you know final expense presentation to their clients face-to-face in the home, right? Once we have established uh, why they responded, back to the lead we will explain our product show how we were different from the other guys then we will help qualify the prospect and build them a program that fits within their budget that's what you and i do in the home we go into the home and we present options and if necessary we can customize those options to find something that fits within their budget okay we'll be very clear this video is about what is final expense and who sells it and really the whole core idea here was to explain to you the difference between a captive final expense agent and a broker type agent who sells final expense but sells it with an IMO that sells multiple products such as term, whole life, IULs, annuities, and the advanced products. In my opinion, I would prefer to be with an IMO or some company that allows me to sell multiple products rather than be somewhat captive and being only able to sell final expense because I'm working for a final expense company that only sells or specializes in final expense policy. It's important to remember that final expense is, again, directed at a certain segment, which is seniors, but more low-income seniors, right, in terms of how the lead is developed. If you're working a lead-based sales opportunity, their generator or their, or their target market is that lower income, which means as a final expense captive agent, you are working those type of leads or you're knocking on doors and the average sale, the average APV is going to be much less than it would be if you're working mortgage protection leads, right? So even though you're working a mortgage protection lead, as I said before, it may end up being a final expense sale where you're going to sell them a final expense product, but it's because of their medical conditions and their age, right? It's why they can only qualify or afford a final expense product. So I just want to make those points to you, and hopefully that clarifies any questions that you might have. If not, call me, text me, or email me, and we can discuss it further. But let's move on for now. It may sound easy. But it still requires hard work and a mentor or coach to help cut your learning curve down and move your income potential up. Now remember, when I'm talking about mentors and coaches, I'm not talking about the kind of mentor and coaches who've never sold anything or never sold or put their name on an application in this industry. I'm not talking about recruiters with these massive network marketing type IMOs that have them recruiting and building an agency before they're even licensed or before they've ever sold a product themselves with that whole some will, some won't, somebody will make me rich mentality. I'm talking about somebody that's been in the business for many, many years, knows the sales process, is still active in the sales process, and is still coaching and mentoring their own agents and potentially other agents in the industry, but still puts their name on an application, dresses up, puts that uniform on, and goes out into the field and is a do-as-I-do type coach, mentor, not a do-as-I-say. I can't even call him a coach or a mentor because you can't teach somebody something that you've never done. And from an integrity standpoint, if you're not willing to leave from the front, 
you can't ask people to do something that you're not willing to do yourself, right? So that's it today. It's what is final expense and how do we sell it? I uh, hope that's been beneficial to you. Remember, we're back here again on Sundays every week for more of a mindset that I know that you have not only is there product knowledge, you also have to control the six inches of brain matter between these two ears to be successful in this industry. And those things are the skills that you need to have. You, yes, you need to learn the products, but if you can't control this right here, you're dead before you even get started. So I think it's an important part of our channel. Make sure you join me on Sunday. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button below so you get notifications of new videos. Smash that bell down the lower uh, right hand corner. That gives you instant notifications of live streams. As soon as we move into our new offices, we're going to be doing a lot more live streams and interviewing new agents. I think you're going to be, want to be part of that for sure. Uh, do me a favor, like the video, share the video with somebody else maybe you know that could be struggling or just want to be part of this channel, of this uh, mission that we're on here, and make me a comment, right? Look, if you're looking for a place to go, uh, give me a call, and maybe we're a fit to work together. But this channel is for everybody to come here, learn things that they're not getting from that recruiting type IMO or that recruiter type mentor and coach who knows nothing, can't teach you, but you're stuck and you can't leave, which happens a lot. That This is what this channel is for, right? But I'm always open to help anybody I can in this industry. Reach out to me. I'm so grateful for the calls, uh, texts, and emails. Give me a ring and, uh, and let's chat. At least tell me if you're getting some value out of the channel. And I appreciate you being here. Remember, this is my number one uh, thing that I live by. The surest way not to fail is to be determined to succeed. You can't fail if you're determined to succeed. Bye-bye now.